This coming June, we're holding a safeguarding and safer recruitment event in central London. The idea about safer recruitment is that it's our first opportunity to both deter unsuitable people from working with our children, young people and vulnerable adults, and also to give us a chance to prevent abuse from happening in the places in which we work. So what do we mean when we talk about unsuitable people? Well, this training day will, amongst other things, look at what we know about those who present harm or potential harm to children, young people and vulnerable adults. We'll start to explore what we understand of the ways that they operate, of the different offences that can be committed and how we need to be alert and aware to the different behaviours that those sorts of people might present to give us a chance of identifying those individuals and seeking to prevent them from causing harm to our vulnerable people. It's important that we remember when recruiting workers to work with children or vulnerable adults that a criminal record check is one part of a safer recruitment process, albeit an important one. So we'll be looking at the different policies and procedures that the DBS expect you to have in place. We have significant government changes to regulated activity and who is legally entitled to a criminal records disclosure, we will be helping you to assess individual situations so that you know you are only checking those workers whom you are legally eligible to do so. One of the other things that we'll be looking at during the course of the day is how we managed what we call blemish disclosures. So those criminal records checks that are returned to us with some level of criminality data included. So we'll need to ask ourselves a whole range of questions. How long ago were the offences committed? What was the nature of them? What were the circumstances surrounding it? All sorts of questions that we'll need to ask ourselves to arrive at a robust assessment of the risk that potentially could be caused by the individual with that record. So coming towards the end of the day, we'll start to look at how we effectively manage allegations. Many of us might not know that we have legal duties to inform the Disclosure and Barring Service when we have withdrawn people from working with uh, vulnerable adults, children or young people. So we'll have Lynn Gavin from the DBS with us to explain our roles, our responsibilities and our legal duties in that respect so that we can uh, help to make our working environment safer for those that we serve.